I have one word to describe my feelings about the Carolina Panthers. Disappointment. What up, what up, everybody? It's the Rottweiler Patriots. I'm Vegas. I'm T-Bone. And welcome, everybody, to our first Carolina Panthers recap of the year. It's the week one recap of the Carolina Panthers matchup versus the New Orleans Saints, which did not go so great for the Carolina Panthers and now let's take a look at one of their fans who is an absolute shambles. T-Bone, take it away. Disappointment, 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 disappointment. My only hope, my only hope that I can come of this is that we get a similar uh, Dan Snyder situation and that David Tepper will sell this team. That is my hope at this point. If we're not going to do good, or at least mediocre, because we've gotten neither, we're going to suck. And I'm hoping from sucking we can at least get... David Tepper out. That is my hope at this point. Every side of this ball could not catch a break. Run defense sucked. Passing defense sucked. Go ahead, Rashid Shaheed. Prime Randy Moss. Awesome. Sure, let's have a couple of people rack up some tackles. That's nice. That don't mean shit if it's 10 to 47 at the end of the game. We even got it. We even got a punt blocked. A punt blocked. Bryce Young sucked. Was he aware that we were the team in white? We sucked. Every ounce of it sucked. Okay? All right. Oh, cool. First, you know, first play, the first few play of the games. All right. Boom. Oh, gosh. We got them on, you know, third and four. Let's see. Nope. Shotgun. Derek Carr. Pass deep. Rashid Shahid. Touchdown. 59 yards. Sapped. Sapped the entirety of of the game's mo um, motivation and momentum. And that's crazy because that was the first drive. If we get our motivation sapped on the first drive, I don't have, I don't have for us. Boom. Oh, first play, bam, interception. Okay. Then they get a field goal. Then we get a punt. Then, a t then they get a touchdown. Then we punt again. Then they get a field goal. Now they're at 20. We're at nothing. Oop. Two plays, seven yards. We fumble back to them. Field goal, 23-0. Punt, 23-0. Touchdown, 30-0. Oh, before the second quarter's over, barely, 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 we get a field goal. So now it's 30-3. to three. Another interception. Then they get a touchdown. We finally get a touchdown for Bryce Young hauling his fat butt over. Then they get a field goal. Then we punt, then they get a touchdown, and it's punt, 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 downs, 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 till the end of the game, 10-47. This was abysmal. In every aspect of the game, this was abysmal. Off, I've, I read somewhere, <clears throat> we sacrificed our defense to make our offense look better, and now we have neither. And I disagree. I think this team is, look at me, I sound like a, Loon. I think this team is better than the 2023 Carolina Panthers. This cannot be. This cannot be how we play. It was abysmal. And this was on some of this was on Bryce Young. He said, he said, Canals lets me play freely. Well, this is free. You don't need to be. You need to be restrained. This is ridiculous. So just a poor showing. So the one touchdown we got, obviously was a rushing touchdown from Bryce. It's always nice that he uses his legs because he knows he can. Honestly, not awful from Thielen. Still pretty consistent. The Mingo fumble was awesome. Love it when we have people to fumble instead of holding on to the ball. <laughs> um... I think I think keeping Pinero is the right idea because if this is how we're going to deal with, we did not need a rookie kicker. Uh, this was awful. Every ounce of this was awful. Uh, we got just beat in every place. Offense, defense, special teams. Not one spot was good. Um, what we can improve on is 
freaking everything. Um, a bright spot is the fact that at least this is week one. Okay, it's week one. Let's hope, maybe hope to God this is a jitter. Okay. And maybe this isn't exactly what we're supposed to get. Maybe we won't. Everyone's got to play until they get punched in the mouth. Okay, well, now we've got punched in the mouth. It's week one. If this is how we're acting week one, better to get out of the way week one. I hope to God this woke us up. Because I promise you, Tepper is not a patient man. He still isn't going to be, despite him saying he will be. Canales, if you keep playing like this, you're going to be fired. You're going to be with Reich owning a home in Charlotte for four years for no reason. So, um, truly, I, I am very thankful that it is happening now, this crap, and not later. Better to be 0-1 with this type of abysmal performance now than later. Because this gives us time to adjust. And I do. I do think this is a better team. We've got a better coordinated defense we've got a better more efficient offense with a couple of uh tight end you know injuries coming from this you know before this week so that's why should davion sanders had to play um so i'm more hopeful about this squad but i feel vindicated in the fact that i said that we would probably go five and twelve which is probably what we're going to go, or whatever Whatever I said. We're going to win five games or less. Um, this is a disappointment. This was complete and utter shit. It sucked. Top to bottom. Bottom to top. Head to toes. Toes to heads. We sucked. The Saints, the New Orleans Saints, they're fans were booing Derek Carr not 365 days ago, less than. And he's putting on a master class like this. He wasn't even that great. He was putting on a master class like this in Mercedes-Benz? Are we kidding ourselves? Or whatever it is. The Caesar Superdome? I don't care. We're getting our butt kicked all over. As far as, I, as, far as I'm concerned. So... The miscoordination and miscommunication from J.C. Horn and the other secondaries led to the first Rashid Shahid touchdown, the 59-yarder, which was not great. So, truly, if, if I am to be convinced that this is a better team, because I do think so currently. I still think so. If I am to think this is a better team, they are going to have to be much more coordinated with Evero. And Canales is going to have to get a handle on the offense and figure out what's going on. And finally, Bryce, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you got dragged in this franchise. You got dragged into a puddle of crap. This was on YouTube, bud. I can't baby you anymore. None of us can baby you anymore. I'm not calling you a bust yet. I know some fans are calling you a bust. That's wild. You're not a bust yet. But you need to st you need to act like you are a part of the QB class that has Anthony Richardson and CJ Stroud and not the one with freaking Sam Bradford. Okay? So let's 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 I you're a talented guy. Let's let's not throw to the other team. You maybe you maybe, you know, I saw you working after practices. Let's let's put that into practice. Let's put that into practice and put that into the game next. Uh, final thing from me uh, about this game really is a lot of people were saying, "Oh, losing Brian Burns would do that." Shut up! No, he was su he was not sucking. He was not doing what he needed to do last year. He did not. He wanted to get paid T.J. Watt money, and now he's out. Okay, he's a great guy. Glad he was there for us. He's out now. All right, that's it. 
having Brian, you know what? No, guys, you're so right. Having Brian Burns would have helped us. It would have actually made this 10 to 40 instead of 10 to 47. You're so right. Good job, guys. You're doing it. No. No. It, he would have helped. He wouldn't have stopped this slaughter. No. Of course not. Looking at the next week, we've got the Chargers. Okay. Um, so far, I'm absolutely under no impression that we will win. There's no reason we would at all under under no circumstances. Uh, they are in the BOA. They are in the BOA. So, you know, there may be some type of home team advantage. Maybe, you know, if we had a genie of some kind. Um, the thing about the Chargers is that I truly... Second half, they got over themselves. I'm very thoroughly convinced that they gave away all of their offensive weapons other than Justin Herbert. So, you know, McConkey and Dobbins being their number one options, that's wild. That's wild. We can use that to our advantage. There are things we can do to mitigate these losses. And I know that we can do them. It's just the fact that we're not doing them. So, personally, um, this was just embarrassing. Disappointment. Thoroughly. Um, so I'm hoping that this is a week one jitter and hell maybe we do get better who knows so far not a great start um everyone will need to be on their a, a game which they were not so we will need to be include including bryce young including the coaching staff and the personnel um because I I've seen the guys play, I've seen them do things, but this is this is abysmal. So let's let's not make sure every drive for like the first seven or six drives they're putting points on the board. Let's make sure that's not happening next time. Okay, Vegas, do you have any thoughts on this car accident that we're looking at? Uh. <laughs> The Carolina Panthers were definitely a train wreck of a football team this week on every part of the field. It was not a good week for football teams in that are, are their home in North Carolina that either pl normally play in Charlotte or played in Charlotte this weekend. Rip my NC State Wolfpack. <laughs> but... <laughs> It was not good for the Carolina Panthers down in New Orleans. It, Bryce Young did not look like the quarterback that either of us expected him to look like. I don't think we expected him to be as good as Stroud or anything, but we certainly expected better than whatever we got on the field today. And he has to step up next week against the Chargers. And he has to step up in general. If the Panthers want to win football games, Miles Sanders and Chuba Hubbard both have to be significantly better than they were. And maybe once Jonathan Brooks is back from injury, the running game will pick up. But the Panthers have to be able to run the ball effectively if they're going to succeed. This just was not okay at all. You give up four sacks, you throw two interceptions, you lose the fumble, it's... It, just abysmal all the way around. Defense just didn't do anything. Couldn't contain a 49ers offense that, while having Alvin Kamara and Rahid Shahid, not... I still don't find particularly impressive. And they struggled against a defense that I don't think is particularly amazing. So... There was a reason I had the Carolina Panthers winning this game. Obviously, you can see very, 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 very wrong about that. But the reason is because the Saints just, I, regardless of today, I don't think are that good of a football team. And I think the Carolina Panthers have the talent to play well. I actually think their defense is better than, I think the Saints' defense is better than they give them, than a lot of people give it credit for. Because you've got, you've got Tyron Matthew, Marshawn Lattimore, God, who's the guy that always does different mustache photos every year? Whatever. Uh, it just Saints defense is better than people think, but it was it was not. This was not 
what we expected. They, in any world, this is not what we expected. No, this this was really bad from the Carolina Panthers, and it's very, 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 very clear that they have a lot to sort it out. And I don't know if it's just because they're getting used to a brand new system under Canales, and I don't know how much of this is on Canales. I'm sure quite a lot of it, quite frankly, because he clearly didn't have his team ready to play. But he's got to get his boys ready to play because you got a tough competition in the Chargers. Now, there's one thing that you can take solace in about next week's match. It's, again, that you're getting a West Coast team traveling to the East Coast to play at 1 o'clock. That's always really difficult for the West Coast team. And so I think that that will be a bit of an equalizer. But the Chargers still have Justin Herbert. They still have Harbaugh doing a good job coaching up there. And they still got a pretty solid defense. So this is a team that you are going to have to go out and beat. You're going to have to be able to limit Justin Herbert. If Derek Carr is tearing you a new one, then <laughs> Justin Herbert is going to do some things. So they can't, they can't afford to play any we're near as bad as they did this week, or they're going to get nuked into the sun by the Chargers. It, it, call it disappointing. Call it terrible. Call it what you want. Today was f downright unacceptable for the Carolina Panthers, and if they want to be a successful football team, I'm not saying that means making the playoffs, but if they want to be a successful football team and meet their own measure of success... They have to be better than this. They just have to be. This was not okay. By any stretch of the imagination. And I think they will be the first ones to tell you that. But... This 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 was a joke. And the Carolina Panthers have to fix it. And they gotta fix it quick. Now, after the Chargers, you do have the Raiders. So, you do have to travel to Vegas for that, but that's... An opportunity for a win. Then you host the Bengals, which we'll see how the Bengals are by then, because the Bengals did lose to the New England Patriots, who I think are a better football team than most people give credit for. But, you know, the Bengals may be over their early season slump hangover mess by week four. And then after that, you have the Falcons, the Commanders, and another shot at the Saints. So generally, the Patriots or the Panthers have some winnable gains in front of them. But they cannot play like this in any of those games, or they will lose all of them. You gotta clean it up. Protect the football, first and foremost. Three turnovers, completely unacceptable. Personal goal for the Carolina Panthers next week. Even if they lose the football game with the Carolina Panthers, turn the ball over zero times against the Chargers next week. I consider that a win for this football team right now. Because the way they protected the football in this game was abysmal. So, that's... You, you gotta protect that football. That was not okay. Young has got to be more accurate with his throat, smarter with his decision-making. 13 for 30 is not okay, by any stretch of the imagination. Two interceptions is not okay. First, play the game, you throw a pick. That's a tone setter. First play the season, you throw a pick. That can be a tone setter for a season. You've got to protect that football. Momentum is a real thing. Momentum is a very real thing. I know. I drove three hours to watch momentum lead to my team getting murdered in Charlotte on Saturday night. I drove three hours to go watch that football game and three hours back afterwards to watch my team get nuked into the sun because one play led to a complete momentum shift, and it was because we didn't take care of the football. And the Panthers got to be able to do the same thing. You got to take care of that football. If you don't, you're not, you don't have a prayer against Los Angeles. You don't. Zero turnovers has to be the goal for Carolina this week. No interceptions, no fumbles. Plain and simple. T-Bone, your thoughts? No more excuses. It's a get up and go. We got to, you got to do better or you're, you either want it or you don't. And that's all. Exactly. Bryce Young now has the offensive line protection. Bryce Young now has better receivers. Bryce Young has a new rookie running back who's shown a lot of promise. And he's got two experienced backs 
one of whom has shown he can operate at a high level. Now, granted, neither of them operated at a high level. Yeah. But still, you've got. But the... he's got the defense backing him up, which again, the defense was terrible today. And you've got the personnel. You've got the coaching personnel. You've got exactly. Canales. Bryce so, Young. No more excuses. Has been given upgrades this year and now has a team that is n capable around him. Not Might not be incredible, but they are capable, which he didn't have last year. So now he needs to be the one to step up and show he really is the guy. Because today I didn't see the guy. Today I saw something... I don't know if I would expect a performance this bad out of him last year, and that's with no help. He's got the help now. He's got to do something with it. Plain and simple. So, the Panthers have a lot to work on. Today was not acceptable. And they, they, they just have to improve all sides of the ball. Offense, defense. It, it just wasn't great. T-Bone, any final thoughts before we wrap this sucker up? No, sir. All righty then. Please be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. We would love to hear what you all have to say. And that is going to do it for us today. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button. Please be sure to subscribe. And we will see you all in the next video.